I got into solar cooking when visiting schools around the country and watching the way that they prepared the food using firewood. I'd seen the technology in Zambia and, and I just thought this is an absolute no-brainer. Here is a way for people in Africa to cook at no cost, making no emissions and it's completely clean and sustainable. One of these dishes behind you continues cooking for 10 years. If we put this dish out in 2010, it will continue cooking till 2020. We have a massive problem with deforestation in Africa. It is people's primary energy source. The communities across southern Africa, they say the trees run away from them because every day they've got to walk a little bit further to collect the same amount of firewood to cook their food. When we put a solar cooker in, from day one, it reduces your firewood needs down to next to nothing or by at least two-thirds. It's low-cost, high-impact technology. The solar cookers are relatively inexpensive. One of the big problems is they're not accessible in southern Africa, so we're going to be getting on the road to try and help with that. The people that are collecting firewood are the same people who really are not on a financial system, so they do not have a lot of money and resources available to them. No matter how cheap we make the cookers, we still can't reach the people that we really need to reach, and therefore we need funding in order to be able to do that. Solar cookers can create carbon offsets. They reduce emissions by the simple fact that food cooked on a solar cooker doesn't require firewood which releases emissions which then makes the solar cookers eligible for carbon financing. For the last four years we've been working in and developing carbon trading mechanisms whereby we're able to put our solar cookers into communities that's financed through the carbon markets. Sunfire Solutions has just become one of five projects in South Africa that is offsetting for the World Cup in South Africa. Solar cookers come in a box that you can carry on the back of a bicycle. They take about 20 minutes to put up, put together. They're extremely easy to use. You need no specialized skills or knowledge or tools to assemble and use a solar cooker. It's very, very easy to just point at the sun and learn how to use. And that is how you build a solar cooker. In order to double the power of your solar cooker that only cooks one pot, we can use what's known as a sun bag solar cooker. It allows you to take your pot off and your rice or your pup is cooked halfway, you would take the pot off, place it in the sun bag, which acts as a retained heat cooker, saving you both time and energy and also keeping food warm long after dark. So this sun bag effectively doubles your cooking power, giving you a two-plate cooking stove. In September of 2010, we're about to embark on an expedition starting in Mozambique and traveling throughout Southern Africa to distribute solar cookers. We will have an interactive website that people from all over the world will be able to tune in to the solar caravan. These cookers cost approximately $180 and we are looking for investors to finance these cookers on behalf of rural African communities. The best sloppy joes in Joburg.